Welcome to our Wednesday stretch. Amen. God bless you, Hymns family. Thank you again for all of you all for your support, for your love. I'm sitting out front of my house just uh, enjoying a little break time before I continue on with the rest of my day. I want to welcome uh, those of you all who visit this page or who frequent this page, but you don't quite know everything that goes on. So I want to welcome you and want to introduce, you know, I'm Philip Carter. My wife is Stephanie Carter. We have Jonathan Patton, who is our assistant, uh, part-time assistant, who helps us with the things that we do. Um, it's just the three of us, and well, I should say the five of us, because my children help sometimes in the setting up and breaking down the broadcast. They also help with getting mail outs done and all that kind of stuff. So I just want to introduce and just say welcome to those of y'all who visit us. Or you may watch us and you don't know what in the world is going on. You know, when do you broadcast? Well, we broadcast every day of the week in the morning. I'm, I'm sorry, Monday through Friday in the morning, 730 in the morning for morning devotion. Um, uh, that's 20 to 25 minutes of song, scripture, and prayer. Um, and then we broadcast um, on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sunday nights for Sunday night hymn praise. On Tuesday nights and Thursday nights, it's at 10 p.m. All our times are Eastern time. And then on Sunday nights, we broadcast at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And that's with a guest the majority of the time. Uh, and then on um, Saturdays, I post... Uh, Morning thoughts, which is just some r random stuff that that I believe, uh, you know, some random stuff that I've had in my mind all week long. Friday we have a Hymns Family lunch break, uh, where we just talk about food we've eaten or whatever is on the agenda for that day, and I tell jokes. And then Monday and Thursday we have midday boost, um, um, on at 12:30 uh, p.m. Eastern time. So it's a lot going on. Uh, we also support. An orphanage in Uganda, uh, 450 children, nine widows. Every week, we uh, we uh, provide food, um, sometimes bottled water, um, and whatever else they need. Uh, sometimes, uh, I know uh, uh, twice a year tuition. We pay tuition for these children, and then I think four times a year we pay exam fees. Um, and we are in the process of building an orphanage that we hope to have completed sometime in 2023. I was hoping to do it sooner, but um, that's not gonna happen just yet. But um, I'm looking at 2023, we've already purchased two, two acres of land um, um, in Uganda. All that thanks to the Hymns family uh, broadcast. We call it the Hymns family because we are a family. We are a community. Uh, Hymns family is people from all over the world um, watch and tune into our broadcast. And um, and give and support, and we also have and so we have monthly Zoom fellowships. We won't have one in August, but we just had one in July. Um, and I invite everybody to come on Zoom. We talk, we testify, we pray, we sing a little, we have fun. Um, so there's a lot going on. So this is your online safe space. This is your online community. We pray. We believe in prayer. We believe in the preservation of hymns. We believe in. Uh, we believe that hymns are still relevant, that they can change the world, that they can be integrated into whatever worship situation there is. We believe that hymns were never meant to be taken away. They were only meant to be adapted into current culture. And so um, that's what that, that, that's what our mission is regarding hymns. And we have people on this page, they love hymns, we sing them every day. And, um, and so all this got started because God decided to call me out of the school system and out of the uh, college campus and to go online and minister to people. And I, I'm, I'm praying that I have been faithful to the task at hand that God has called me to do. Um, we are a 501 501c3 organization. Uh, so we do, uh, um, so, so donations are um, tax deductible. And outside of that, that's it. Um, it's just like a, a small run or, you know, uh, situation. But God has, has given us a mega platform. We minister to, from September to May, we may have, we reach about a million people a week. And then in the summertime, that's a, about 600,000 people a week. Uh, so reach meaning 
that many people have passed by our page or that many people have seen a broadcast and then there's a certain number of people who actually click to watch 15 to 30 seconds of the broadcast and then there's people who watch three minutes and there's people who watch the whole time so those numbers are, are a little lower um, um, but we reach a lot of people God has favored us and God has blessed us and and that is largely in part due to the sharing and the likes from the Hems family, not just from Facebook, but from YouTube as well. Um, sharing and liking is a big deal. That's why you may hear me say that all the time on the broadcast. Liking and sharing is a big deal. Um, even if you can't give, you can give to us by liking and sharing. Many people don't like and share. I think some people um, may not think it's necessary, but you understand in social media, sharing and liking is necessary. Just think of all the funny videos or even all of the raunchy videos you've seen, all the videos you didn't want to see, you saw because somebody liked and shared. You saw eventually because somebody shared and liked. And so that's what we do. We spread our ministry. We evangelize by liking and sharing. Yes, we run ads. We we show our videos to different parts of the world, uh, paid videos, different parts of the world. Um, but the liking word of mouth is still number one in any in any category in anything that we do so we always will ask people to like and share our broadcast especially if you appreciate it it's been a blessing to you um we are also in the, in the midst of doing i love hymns gatherings across the country we'll be in chicago this friday uh july 29th and 30th at the olivet baptist church on martin luther king street in chicago it's going to be a wonderful time friday we're going to have a hymn sing which we which will be broadcast on facebook and youtube and then Saturday, we have our I Love Hymns workshop. It's not too late to register. You can go to Eventbrite, type in I Love Hymns Chicago, and you will see um, our um, event posted, and you can register. And whether you want to watch it via Zoom or, or be there live, you can be a part of our I Love Hymns workshop. And then the next one won't be until we go to Birmingham. Well, I won't say that because we might come to Detroit uh, sooner than later. But the next scheduled one is Birmingham, Alabama. Columbus Day weekend, October, I believe that's the 7th and the 8th, or either the 8th and the 9th, and we're looking forward to having a great time in Alabama at the 16th Street Baptist Church, um, and that's going to be a big deal. Um, and then the month after that, we're going to be in Houston, Texas. I can't think of the name of the church. It's the United Methodist Church. It's the church that Dr. Jacqueline Chambers uh, ministers at. We're going to be there in Houston, Texas. So we got a full schedule. And I'm looking to visit, we're looking to do I Love Hymns in Canada in 2023. We're looking to visit Uganda in 2023. And we're looking to get to California in 2023. So a lot is going on. And, and I, I wanted to come on just to say, everybody, welcome. Whether you just watch us, you don't comment, you just watch, welcome. Thank you for your support. Um, and if you're able to support this mission, please do join on in. Um, because I can guarantee you this, we're going to do the best we can to utilize the resources that we have to do the work of ministry. And we believe that God is going to provide everything we need because I think whenever, whenever God gives a vision, he provides. In fact, I don't think, I know. Whenever God gives a vision, he gives provision to go with that vision. And I'm going to go inside my house because you know why? These bugs are biting my behind. So... Not my, not my behind, literally, but my arm and everything. They, they light me up, bite me in my head and everything else. But anyway, <laughs> I hope that this helps for some of you all who um, who may watch this and don't, don't know all of what's going on. I want to thank all of the Hymns family members. I can't thank you enough for what you are doing to help and what you are doing to spread this gospel, to spread this message across the world. There are a lot of messages being spread across the world and people have different roles that they play in the kingdom. And and as far as I'm concerned, this is my role at this point. I am a gospel artist. We have 11 albums out, uh, one Stella Award and then another Stella Award for producing a children's record. Uh, we do a lot, travel, looking forward to doing more albums. But right now, God has called us to do this. And I'm enjoying every minute of it. How many of y'all have recognized the uh, anointing uh, from last night and this morning? I feel an extra push in the spirit. How many of y'all felt that uh, last night and this morning? You know, I, you know, you know. Sometimes you think 
when you see me pushing like that, um, it's not necessarily because I'm going through anything. Um, it's because God is, 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 is heavy. The spirit is heavy. And sometimes I feel the burdens of people. Um, but I felt, I feel an extra push in the spirit. Um, and last night and this morning just proved it. Somebody at my door. Let me see who's at my door. Let me see. Somebody's at my door. Hold on. Let me see what's going on. Hey, I'm on the, I'm on the live right now. But, yeah. Amen. I don't want nobody to get surprised. You don't want me to show your face? Okay. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but I want you all to be encouraged today. Be encouraged. Amen. We sung this morning. Encourage yourself. Last night, uh, I was just in a whole nother world. Uh, just feeling the, feeling the spirit and feeling the glory of God all in the broadcast. Just make just want to want to fall out and lay out myself, amen. And I almost I almost t turned on the shout beat last night, about to go straight into a full dance. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, <laughs> a full dance, a full dance. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> But welcome to all of you all. Always put in the chat, I'm new. And you will be so overwhelmed by the many people who welcome you. You know how you go on somebody else's feed and you watch their broadcast and you type it in. Everybody's commenting about this and that. And that. But in this in this fellowship, when you type in I'm new or, or you say something nice to somebody, people are going to respond. And they're going to love on you like you've never been loved online before. Uh, so uh, welcome to everybody. God bless you. God keep you. May heaven's face shine upon you. <laughs> I'm trying not to show Stephanie. She doesn't want me to show her face. She's on the phone with who? Hi, Miss Regina. And Miss Regina. Hey, Miss Regina, I'm on Facebook Live now. And I'm, and we're listening to you. She's <laughs> She's talking to Miss Regina Byram. Y'all know who Miss Regina Byram is. If you if you're on our broadcast, you know who Miss Regina Byram is. Praise God. <laughs> but anyway, you all have a great rest of your day. I'm going to get some. I'm going to get some rest. Uh, then I'm gonna go go back and see my mother and my father. My father's plane was delayed and then canceled and delayed yesterday, so he actually didn't get in the airport. Get land until about. 8 45 9 p.m or whatever something like that and my wife stayed around to help him uh to pick him up at the airport uh it was just a, a long day and then my cousin came to my my to my parents house to watch my mom uh so that you know we could make sure everything was covered so i could come home and do the broadcast last night so god had a god has a has has a way of doing what he does and i praise god because i just knew i needed to do tuesday night broadcast so uh, God bless her. Yeah. It's somebody saying hi, Regina. They putting on here. Hi, hi, Regina. I'm about to do a live interview with Regina Byam on the phone. <laughs> well, God bless y'all. Didn't, didn't Reverend Dr. Cynthia Turner Wood preach a right now word today? Y'all look, y'all realize, and, and sometimes I had to sit back and think about this. Do you realize that we getting what? I mean, I'm giving you a little, a little pea stew of a of a sermon every morning, and then you're getting a word, a full sermon, on Wednesdays at twelve at twelve p.m. every week. Do you know how blessed we are? We are blessed, and then we're surrounded by the songs of the Lord every day. The song of the Lord every day, many times during the day, and then you have. At, th at this point, a thousand videos to watch, uh, 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 reruns, reruns, re I say re rerun, reruns to watch uh, for all the episodes we've had from two and a half years up to now on Facebook and YouTube. So it is, uh, we got a lot going on and you all can just turn on Philip Carter, walk around the house and just let it play okay. and, just, and turn on the Hymns family. Let it play. Listen, I'm, I'm going to check and see if I can blindfold Stephanie again and play Name That Hymn next Wednesday. What y'all think about that? 
Can I do that? If y'all gonna let me do that? Can I can I blindfold Stephanie again and play name that him? We're gonna play. I, I wanna. I asked her, can we do that? So I'm waiting for her response. I don't, I don't want y'all to be mad with me. But we're gonna play name that him again. But I can't play with her unless, unless I blindfold her because she's right there with me. She can tell what's going on. Can I do it? Y'all are y'all gonna let me do it? Yeah. I want I want I want to play name that him with her again. Yeah. So and she did do well. She did do well. Yeah. And she wants vengeance. <laughs> she wants revenge. <laughs> My wife's a competitor. She's like, I don't like to lose. Uh, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do it Wednesday. We're gonna be out of town on a I'm so, on a true rest next week. I'm not doing any conventions. Uh, we, we're just gonna do morning devotion, and we're gonna run some reruns. And I may do Thursday night, but we're gonna be out of town next week. And I think next week, if not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after that, this Wednesday after that, we're gonna do name that him or her. I'm looking for some more volunteers. Don't be scared. Come on, join me for name that him. We're gonna have a good time. Brother Austin, why don't you come on? You 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 got knowledge. You got knowledge. Come on, why don't you play name that him? Y'all know Brother Pastor Austin is going to do our reflection, our morning devotion on next Friday. And then the third Friday of August, Reverend Patricia Hall is going to do it. And then I'm going to fill up those other two slots very soon, as soon as I can find the people I'm looking for. All right, y'all. God bless. Have a great one. And again, welcome to all of our new members, welcome to all of y'all who tune in regularly, and to the rest of us, be encouraged. Take care, everybody.